Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Jorginho card to review today. This card was actually trending on Footbin even when the attackers were released uh, because people were wondering what they were actually going to give him in-game. Uh, to be honest with you guys, Jorginho doesn't actually look that bad, right? He actually might be in a similar boat as the Nkunku card once it hit a certain point. Like Nkunku's card... Uh, as I believe it was like an 88 rated or 89 where I'm just like, guys, even though he's a medium medium, like this card's actually really solid right now. With Jorginho, guys, I'm going to show you guys something, okay? Because he looks really good, okay? If you were to give him a shadow chemistry style, you're going to boost his acceleration from a 99 or not from a 99. You're going to boost his acceleration to be a 99 with 95 sprint speed and you're going to boost his defense a lot. Here's the thing, though, okay? The card is four-star, four-star now, right? So in comparison to this card right here, which is a three-star, three-star, they did improve the weak foot and the skill moves, which is awesome. But not only that, guys, if you look at his dribbling stats, he also has a lean body type, okay? So the fact that he has a lean body type will make him an, like a very responsive player. So he can actually be very good at defending and attacking because, guys, with pace like this... Look at his shooting stats as well, okay? He has 93 attacking positioning, 87 finishing, 96 for shot power. So the shot power being higher than the finishing, that with the four-star weak foot, 93 composure, is actually very good for a midfielder, okay? It's very solid. Uh, base card stats are passing. Obviously phenomenal on the card as well. You don't really have to look at that too much. Uh, four-star, four-star is really, really cool. Uh, In-game attributes for dribbling. The only thing that's low, guys, is agility and balance, but... Look at how well he compensates for reactions, ball control, dribbling, and composure. All in the 90s area. For a midfielder, guys, that is very, very good, okay? Defensive stats with the Shadow Chemistry style will be boosting his defense uh, to be quite good. The only thing that's going to be low-ish is defensive awareness at an 85. But if I'm going to be honest with you guys, the fact that this card is 4-star, four 4-star four now... If I were to use him in the CDM position as my balanced CDM, I think this card would be really sick to use in a team. I do believe that. Uh, base card stats for physical, also very good on the card with 93 aggression and 99 for stamina. So, I mean, honestly, he's better than I thought he would be. Uh, he really is. Like, people were looking him up because... Um, I guess whether or not, you know, him belonging in the team of the year or not belonging. But the card itself does look really good, guys. Like, it could be in a similar boat to that Nkunku card, like I said earlier. So, uh, with Jorginho, we're going to be trying him out uh, in two different ways. So, one will obviously be the 4-1-2-2 tactics, playing him as uh, a center mid. So, we're just going to go ahead and switch. Uh, good one, we'll keep in the CDM position. Jorginho will play in that right center mid area on the get forward instruction with forward runs. And then, we're also going to be trying him out... In, uh, we could totally try him on this 4-3-2-1 as well to test out his defensive capabilities as well. And then at some point, I might actually give him a try in the 4-2-3-1 formation to see how he's like over there as well. So, yeah, we'll try him out. Hopefully, he is a beast. At least he goes for an animation there. His uh, transitioning wasn't too bad, actually. Yeah, that lean body type, guys, that's that's the huge kicker right there, man. That's the one. If it wasn't a lean body type, uh, like, average is, it's good for a midfielder, but it's just better when it's lean, man. Because the movement left and right is better. You can defend and attack better. Oh, on a white. Okay, okay. Let me switch off of him here to see what he's like coming back into the midfield position. Honestly, his medium medium work rates perfectly fine, I think, for that midfield area. Oh, I try to get the chip off there. It was a really well weighted pass, to be fair. See, it's the left and right movement, man. It's really good to work with. Being able to use the weak foot with really good passing stats is awesome. Well done. I didn't even have to control him in there for that uh, block. Okay, this guy... This guy did a lot of Icon SPCs, huh? That's a lot. But the Sporting Shirt too? Oh, I have to destroy him. Gunduan was the one that was going up, and then Dorjinga was the one going back. That was good. 
Ooh, good. A little tackle from behind, too. Ooh, try to get a finesse shot there. His tracking was good there the entire time. All done. Look around switch with the weak foot. All done, Jorginho. I'll take that. Oh, the acceleration, man. They always do that, that you have to be super careful when they push their goalkeeper because it's an actual mechanic in FIFA that if you're holding our trigger when you're close to the goalkeeper, they overdo it. Wow, I can actually hit a finesse from there. Interesting. There we go, nicely done. Oh, no. The pass is phenomenal, though. The initial pass is really good, though, but it's unfortunate with the uh, little counter there. Woo! So well weighted. Let's go. Nice save by the goalkeeper. Let's go, Jorginho. Good interception. Back to the goalkeeper we go. Well done, Jorginho. Nice little animation for the reach there. What a pass. Guys, I pushed him out of position right there, and he was actually occupying the spot of the center back, which is cool. I okay, I guess. Involve him in the attack, we get a deflection. Nice. Well done again. We'll take that. We'll take that. Nice. Green time finesse. Great shot. Ah, oh, almost got that one. Yes, my boy. Let's go, Jorginho. See, that's why I like having that four-star weak foot as the left center defensive mid to be able to like do stuff like that, you know? Oh, interception. Well positioned. Oh, more power. More power behind that. The reason why I took that strike is because I know Salah has, like, crazy, crazy shots like that. Nuts, man. Oh, if he actually didn't go for the animation, I probably would have got that. Cool, 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 cool. Actually got it. Let's go. Oh no. I tried it. I tried it. Look, he even got man of the match, bro. Three goals that game. Let's go. By the way, at some point I just switched to this team because I was like, you know what? Midfielder review. I have the squad for it. So I'm gonna play some foot champs game. So yeah, I was using him in 
this team for a 4-2-3-1, playing as a left center defensive mid as the balanced oriented CDM. Uh, Navi Keita doesn't belong there. You know, again, he's kind of like a Jorginho where you use him as the attacking oriented one where you need a defensive type of player there. But I just, you know, had the team for us, so I was like, whatever, right? Uh, but yeah, guys, final verdict on the new Jorginho card. So honestly, guys, I enjoyed using the card for what it is, man. And I think the biggest reason for this is because of the fact that he has a lean body type, okay? That's the most important thing with this card. The fact that he does actually offer defensive presence is great. You can definitely tell that he's not the pure defensive oriented player. He's a type of card that, you know, you want to mainly use in that 4-1-2-2, 4-2-3-1 uh, formation where he's just playing on balance, right? So again, in this case, we have him on balance instructions, just cover center, and he was defending really well for me. He was attacking really well for me. And the reason being for this is because he has four-star, four-star capabilities, right? So when it comes to the passes, the shots that he takes, uh, the passes that he takes, he's just a card that, you know, gets himself involved in constant situations, right? He's one of those cards kind of like similar to Nkunku where even though he's a medium, medium work rate of player, he's actually very solid to use for the meta of the game. So if you guys end up packing him, by luck or whatever it is he's actually a very solid card the biggest reason why he's good is because he has a lean body type if he was an average it'd be like okay the card's still pretty solid still a very good card probably offers a little bit more of a defensive presence because of the average body type but yeah him being a lean body type considering the fact that the gameplay was horrendous right now like it's really hard to play foot champs games because they show you the ping of like three billion or whatever that number is that they show so you have no idea what ping you're playing on uh, he was still performing like a monster. So uh, definitely very enjoyable card. Do I prefer to have a different work rate every single time? But it's not bad to work with at all, man. He's actually very solid for what it is. But you can definitely tell he's not the player you use as a defensive one. He's the balanced one, right? So again, in this team, like I had Keita. I need like a Conte or someone there, right? But regardless, it still worked out really, really well. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.